Hey guys, um, we are in the car. Oh god. Um, ignore that. Um, anyway, um, I am coming in finally with a quick check-in. I just have to explain what happened. So in the video that I actually filmed, I was talking about it. You haven't seen that video because, um, man, something happened with my laptop. My windows had to be reinstalled and I lost a bunch of programs. So I'm still sorting through that. My video editing program needs to be reinstalled. This is a quick check-in just like in place of that video. Today is October 9th of 2020. So my first week pre-op, I weighed in at, uh, well, the week before my surgery, I weighed in at 311 pounds. Um, and then the week later on February 18th, I weighed in at 305 pounds. That was one, that was the day of surgery. So as of today, I'm weighing in at 200 and what is it 213.4 this morning um so i'm 98 pounds down since the week before my surgery and so i'm almost 100 pounds down since my surgery weight uh i'm hoping to hit 100 pounds down by the weekend um hopefully by sunday but i'm <laughs> I am not holding my breath. So anyway, that's kind of where things are at. Um, and starting to have some kind of body dysmorphia. Uh, well, no, having a lot of body dysmorphia. A lot of weird like mood changes. Like September was a weird, hard month for me. Um, and honestly, not, I like I've been trying to stay active, but I'm, really now like it's the same thing like I'm still trying to make sure I'm eating the right thing because I realize I can exercise all I want but I'm I can't out exercise a crappy diet um, so I did go bike riding with my husband this morning and burn like 400 and some calories I don't know what happened with that. Yeah, that bike ride is part of the reason why my hair is so puffy because it was looking really good um, last night and then I went bike riding and started sweating. Now it's kind of a mess. But anyway, I am going to try to talk about some other topics. I know I always say that and trust me, I have filmed those videos, but I always finish the videos and I'm not really happy with the content, which is why you haven't seen them. But um, I like to talk about some other things like how I failed my psyche valve. Yes, I failed the psyche valve for the weight loss surgery uh, because I don't think I ever told you guys this, but I was looking at having the surgery done back in like November, no, December. I started the process back in November though and couldn't get it done until February because I had to meet the criteria that the psychologist had um, laid out at the psyche valve. She said, you know, you have to do X, Y, Z before I will clear you. So that's what I was doing in those months leading up to the surgery. Um, so I could talk about my experience with that because it did kind of take the uh, wind out of my wings. But at the end of the day, I am really happy that she kind of put the brakes on things because it did force me to you know, work on some of the things that she talked about. I will hopefully come back to you guys with a better video. The lighting kind of sucks right now because of the position of the sun and because I am driving. Um, gotta take care of some work stuff today before the weekend is over. Anyway, I will see you guys hopefully soon when my computer gets its act together. And yeah, I'll come in too for my 100 pounds loss update. I don't know if I'm gonna do it for 100 pounds loss since surgery or 100 pounds loss since the week before surgery. I don't know what makes more sense, but anyway, since I'm so close to being under 200 pounds, you'll also get an update when I finally clear that hurdle as well, which is the moment I've been waiting for for quite some time. 
so i'll see you guys soon and hopefully i'll be able to get this video up to you guys soon as well all right see you later